What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Is the FDA going to crack down so hard on the industry that all conversions are now going to be completely illegal and officers are going to start kicking in laboratory doors? Let's find out in this video. I'm Grim from WKU Consulting. Let us go ahead and dive right on in to the content. Yes, you already know, hit that like, subscribe, bell button, notification. You don't want to miss out on all of the greatest, latest, hottest, pottest, toppest, all of the things that we do right here at WKU Consulting. Let's jump right into it. Today, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration issued warning letters to five companies for selling products labeled as containing Delta-8 tetrahydrocannabinol, Delta-8 THC, in ways that violate the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. This action is the first time the FDA has issued warning letters for products containing Delta-8 THC. Delta-8 THC has psychoactive and intoxicating effects and may be dangerous to consumers. The FDA has received reports of adverse events experienced by patients who have consumed these products. And guys, if you know, like we know, that is due to the fact that people do not know how to properly pharmaceutically handle their conversions. That's what that discord is for. Go get in that discord so you cannot be one of these bad actors that are literally causing a crackdown in legislation for the rest of us. There are no FDA approved drugs containing Delta 8 THC. Any Delta 8 THC product claiming to diagnose, cure, mitigate, treat, or prevent diseases is considered an unapproved new drug. The FDA has not evaluated whether these unapproved drug products are effective for the uses manufacturers claim, what an appropriate dose might be, how they could interact with FDA approved drugs or other products, or whether they have dangerous side effects and other safety concerns. Check it out right here. The FDA is very concerned about the growing popularity of Delta 8 THC products being sold online and in stores nationwide. These products include claims that they treat or alleviate the side effects related to a wide variety of diseases and medical disorders, blah, 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 blah. Basically, the FDA is saying, no, we are concerned, very, very concerned. And this was released in May 4th of 2022. So you might be saying, Grim, that's old news. Well, I'm glad that you say that because the FDA in an official press release statement concludes that existing regulatory frameworks for foods and supplements are not appropriate for cannabidiol and will work on with Congress as a way forward. Given the growing cannabidiol CBD products market, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration convened a high-level internal working group to explore potential regulatory pathways for CBD products. Guess what they're talking about, guys? Hemp-derived products. Delta 9 THC, Delta 8 THC, these guys are cracking down. Today, we are announcing that after careful review, the FDA has concluded that a new regulatory pathway, so the old regulatory pathway is not going to work. That's their words, not mine. But a new regulatory pathway for CBD is needed that balances individuals' desire for access to CBD products with the regulatory oversight needed to manage risks. The agency is prepared to work with Congress on this matter. Today, we are also denying three citizen petitions that have asked the agency to conduct rulemaking to allow the marketing of CBD products as dietary supplements. So not only are they not going to do what the citizens are asking them to, they are saying, actually, we are not sure that we want to have any CBD derived products at all. How do I know that? Well, look at this outstanding post right here. The uses of CBD raises various safety concerns, especially with long-term use. Studies have shown that the potential for harm to the liver interactions with certain medications and possible harm to the male reproductive system. Guys, please cite me the scientific paper where it says that CBD is harmful to the male reproductive system. Oh, not just guys, not just men. CBD exposure is also concerning when it comes to certain vulnerable populations such as children and those who are pregnant. 
A new regulatory pathway would benefit customers by providing safeguards and oversight, more more legalization, more regulation, more re that's what, what we're all wanting, right? Raise your hand. If you're like, hey man, I don't think that we have the government doing enough regulation. We need some more regulation. Raise your hand. Okay, here, here we go. A new regulatory pathway would benefit customers, consumers, by providing safeguards and oversight, love that oversight, to manage and minimize risks related to CBD products. Guys, if you think that they are just talking about CBD and they're not specifically targeting hemp derived alternative cannabinoids like Delta 9 THC, Delta 8 THC, Delta 10 THC, HHC, THCO, HHC, blah, 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 then you are tripping. That's exactly what they're talking about because CBD is not causing these risks that they're talking about. They're talking about CBD product derivatives. Okay? So, there you go. Here you go. CBD also poses a risk to animals. Oh no, the animals. Poses a risk to animals and people could be unknowingly exposed to CBD. Wow. It's like, you know, <laughs> anthrax or something like that, you know. You, 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 have you been unknowingly exposed to CBD? Through meat, milk, and eggs from animals fed CBD because it is not apparent how CBD products could meet the safety standard for substances in animal food. We also do not intend to pursue rulemaking, allowing, allowing. They don't protect, they're not going to do rulemaking that allows the CBD. They, are you catching the language here? They are doing rulemaking that does not allow the use of CBD in animal food. A new regulatory pathway, a new, a new, brand spanking new regulatory pathway could provide access and what we all wanted, more oversight <laughs> for certain CBD containing products for animals. Bam, right here. Here is where you get the juice of the juice. The FDA, this is their words. I'm not in agreement or out of agreement with anything that's happening. The only thing that I could tell you is that guys, if you are not operating straight up preparing for the legalization of cannabis and way past all these cannabis derivatives or these hemp derivatives. Guys, please, I don't know. I mean, join the Discord at least or something, you know, get in contact with a consultant. It doesn't have to be me, but you should be taking steps to prepare for your capital venture, your, your business that you've got going because they are not going to let this keep going. How do I know? How do I know? It says right here, the FDA will continue to take action against CBD and other cannabis derived products to protect the public. Yes, yes, the government's going to protect us in coordination with state regulatory partners when appropriate. Well, who determines whether it's appropriate or not? I guess the FDA does. We will remain diligent in monitoring the marketplace, identifying products that pose risks and acting within our authorities. The FDA looks forward to working with Congress to develop a cross-agency strategy for the regulation of these products to do what is their main, main intent? Is their main intent money? No, their main intent isn't money. It is to protect the public's health and safety. That's what they're going to do. They're going to protect the public's health and safety. That's probably for all of those bad actors. We all know them. You know, I mean, we basically just sell any type of hemp derived. You can buy cannabis online now, straight up. You buy cannabis online, have it shipped right to your door. You don't even need an ID or anything like that. All you got to do is say, are you over 21? Yeah, bloop, bloop, chip. Yep, I'm over. They, you had to know this was coming. You had to know this was coming. There's so many loopholes in the farm bills. And guys, it was a great run while it lasted. But the FDA is going to click in right here clear as day against CBD. Wow. If you're taking action against CBD, I mean, how about you regulate the fentanyl crisis? Okay. Grim, don't sound like a conspiracy theorist. It doesn't sound professional. Okay. You're right. You're right. CBD and other cannabis derived products, cannabis derived products to protect the public in coordination with state regulatory partners when appropriate. The DEA, we're all, they're all, bro, 
they're cracking down. They are cracking down. They are tired of it. And, you know, the loophole was great. The loophole was great. Who is the FDA? Well, the FDA is an agency within the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services that protects the public health by assuring the safety, effectiveness, and security of the human and veterinary drugs, vaccines, and other biological products for human use. Am I supposed to say the V word? I don't think I can say the V word on this channel. And medical devices. The agency also is responsible for the safety and security of our nation's food supply. Thank you for securing our nation's food supply, cosmetics, dietary supplements, products that give off electronic radiation, and for regulating tobacco products. Oh my gosh, let's not even talk about how many tobacco products kill, kill, literally destroy. But let's crack down on CBD. We all know that's what we need. Let's not talk about the fentanyl epidemic. Let's not talk about all that. Let's just talk about getting that CBD. Guys, they're going to make sure that they can get their money. Cannabis legalization is coming, but it's going to be a taxable effort. Everybody bypassed the farm bill by finding all of these loopholes. It was the worst. It was one of the most failed legislations in human history, but it did open the door for a lot of really bad actors. By really bad actors, I mean they're always going to be there. The cannabis industry carries with it. You got people that, you know, these guys that, I don't even know how to explain that, but you know what it is. Bam! How about California? Woo! Lawmakers want an investigation. Hearings into the Wild West of California cannabis and farm work. More underground bad actors. Why? What are they doing? Well, California lawmakers are calling for a sweeping investigation into corruption in the state's cannabis industry. Legislative hearings on the exploitations of farm workers and new laws. Basically, they're hiring a bunch of Asian people, guaranteeing them visa, and then putting them in basically slave labor camps. Yeah, I'm serious, slave labor camps. They've busted a bunch of these guys under the most deplorable of conditions, basically like third world country conditions, barely having room or food or sanitary environment or all of these things, just to slave away in their cannabis industry so that they can, you know, exploit them all the while promising um, American visa or American citizenship or at least the right to move away from your country. We know that people are trying to especially escape out of China. And so right now, this is a perfect way for a predatory pathway to prey on those people who really just need help. Well, luckily for us, at least California is trying to do something about it. And new laws to thwart labor trafficking in response to the revelations of rampant abuses and workers' death in a multi-billion dollar market that has become increasingly unmanageable. Guys, it's unmanageable. This market, it's unmanageable. The government cannot regulate or manage this market. They can't. The uh, spokesperson for a State Department of Industrial Relations told the Times this week that the agency is claiming is examining the deaths of 32 cannabis farm workers that were never even reported to work safety regulators. Okay, so you want to do like limited pathway, appease all the voters, all of this stuff. Guys, we need the government to step in and do a real job. Provide cannabis legalization and provide a pathway and a framework for how people are going to do that um, legally and with those with those guidelines because as it stands right now you have corruption going all throughout the industry you have loopholes going all throughout the industry and guys people's businesses are really at risk because we do not have appropriate guidance luckily for us I think they are finally fed up with this and they are going to start cracking down so if you are in one of those conversion laboratories and one of those production laboratories that are doing stuff like this or you know even a cannabis laboratory and you are a business businessman or woman that is literally just trying to do the best that you can and get into this industry, then I would highly, highly advise you, stop cutting corners, start thinking safety, start thinking CGMP, or when all of this washes out, you will not be here. It is my job to do whatever that I can to prepare and warn you for future events and how we see the cannabis industry coming. Guys, they got $3.2 billion approved for legislation right now. You think that they're not already developing a plan and framework? Yeah, you can just follow the money. The money is already set up to begin regulating that type thing. But all of the people that are basically just setting up a CBD conversion laboratory in their garage somewhere, that is going to come to a grinding halt. It has been a blessing, a privilege, nay, an honor to be able to teach and consult with you guys today. We'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe.